are all leaders in authority chosen by God. Hmm? Hii kama neno ndio tunachambua design ya noma. Us. <laughs> Cheki kama neno. Atakuyas hii ni Buda Boss Live mandika kinuka tunakausha ndo aspa ke mimi ni anka wako wa power Buda Boss hapo na mani mupe na kujiachilia penye na ifi Leo ni Super Sunday aspa ke mtu wangu mazetu na chambua vitu mbili tatu za Biblos tuweze kujijenga imani Au siyo? Brother mazetu kumekua na statement watu waga na semaga sana that all authority mtu wangu comes from God kini mkiango sasa ngeno shei angalia situation kajuliza huyu leader wenye tunamuona wenye tunamjua na vitu tunasikia hata huyu ametoka kwa Mungu wacha mazetu try kuchambua hii kama neno design yake mtu wangu nakunga nikiwa high school mtu wangu from one mazeni nimeingia term 1 nimesumbua shule mbaya but then ilikuwa na chapua daily Tango huyo siku nilingia, nilingia shule saa tano, saa nane nilikuwa staff room nikipokea six strokes of the cane. Six jioni the same day, another six strokes of the cane. Kutoka hapo, kila siku nilikuwa staff room nikipokea ikitu. Kuingia second time maze, I think kwa wisdom ya shule waka jiambia, mm, chali, afadhali ya kue pande yetu, dana kue pande yao. Nike kwa prefect mtu wangu, form one, second time. Nimedunga tire red. All of a sudden I notice hayai. Buda, mimi naweza ita form 4. Form 4 akuje mbio. Form 4 na tiju nimevaa tire red. Tire red ilo kama zejo ilo gani ni symbol moja powerful sana ya power. Watu wangu mazejo nimesukuma sukuma mazee upiri. Kufika form 3 second term. Nika kwa demote. Aki nani shule yote ilo kana tabia nyingine ukiwa demote mtu wangu. Hapo kwa assembly ndio mtu akanaambua kaleta tai. Unaenda unapeleka tai, unapeleka pale unapatia depa. Unarudi kama mwananchi wa kawaida boss. Nika notice haya kumbe mate. Ndio mimi ni tume form 4. Haikuwa juu nilikuwa na sauti kubwa. Haikuwa ni kwa sababu mazee nilikuwa mfiam. Ilikuwa ni kwa sababu nilikuwa nimebeba tai. Yenye ilikuwa ni symbol ya authority. Mtangu kuna lessons kadhaa nataka tu draw hapa kwa usu history ya authority lakini ndio niweke vitu into perspective what is in Romans 13:1 ndio ujio mazee statement wake natoka wapi Romans 13:1 mtu wangu inasema hii CV Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established The authorities that exist have been established by God. Hey, Romans 13:1. But then some of yote inaongea about vitu nyingi sana kuhusu authority mtu wangu. Very very important. Let's just like to bring about and learn mtu wangu about authority ni hivi. Kumbe authority is an office. It's not an individual mtu wangu. Authority ni office na exist. Ni msia wa gana kama na ukipa hiyo ofisi ndio a discharge the duties na zile powers zimepewa hiyo authority. Lakini kitu ya ku take note of mtu wangu ni ati not all in authority are chosen by God. Buda Hosea 8:4 ni scripture interesting inatuambia they have set up kings without my consent. They have chosen princes without my approval. In other words ni possible Buddha kuweka watu in authority bila authority ya God bila approval ya God bila consent ya God in fact juliza hivi wewe si umetoka ku vote hapa juzi juzi mara mbili wenye muli vote mara mbili wenye muli vote mara moja lakini si muli vote mkipiga kura muliuliza Mungu tupatie nani kura God wewe ule mse unataka nipatie MCA Tuliuliza ama tuliamuka tukasema nani ataingia pale ndani kwenye mimi nimeamua. In fact kuna wengine hata mkukoja kuamua muliamuliwa. Eh watu wa Damascus Kings mkaamuliwa. Watu wa Baba Kings mkaamuliwa. 
Watu wa Sweden ni tinks mukaamuliwa. Wao ka move. Hiyo ni reality ya kusu authority. Kuna watu wa queen authority. Sio God aliweka hapo. Or rather hata God hakuwa anataka waingie hapo. Number 2. Mase the office interestingly will take the character of the occupant. Ushai kwa situation mtu wangu eh. Ni the same office, muko na the same office uh, uh, position ya supervisor. Mzee fulani amekuwa hapo, mzee kila mtu ana enjoy job. Watu wanafurahi job. Mzee ni una moral mzee. Wewe tali na kwa transfer. Mzee mwingine anakuja kwa the same office. Same position. Same powers. Hajongeza wa kitu wote all of a sudden. Kila mtu anachukia kwenda job. Yaani analeta stress ile mnashanga huyu chali ametoka wapi? Na hiyo tofisi ni ile ile. So muda imagine hivi. Ukichukua land grab uweke hapo. Madara uweke hapo. Witch doctor uweke hapo. Msewa wa drugs uweke hapo. Mafia uweke hapo. Mtu mlezi uweke hapo. Una expect your authority anaingia into iweze ku deliver nini? Hapo ndo takuja kwenda kwa nini ni muhimu ku pray for all those in authority. Lesson 3 mtu wangu we must all submit to authority but only to the extent the authority high conflict ama high contradict god. Kitu god amesema kitu god anataka tufanye because ni god ame establish authority. Unaelewa? Hapo tunapata story yote kama kina Shadrack, Meshach, Abednego mtu yangu. Hapo tunapata story za kina Daniel. Baada ya wadhi walikuwa government officials. Nebukadnezar kiamua anataka mzee sana mfulani watu wa bow down mtu wangu. Shadrack, Meshach, Abednego akikataa. Ukisoma Daniel 3 mtu wangu. Awadhi walikuwa government officials. Ni kama kusema uhuru aseme kitu yote kama president, alafu cabinet ministers wake wamwambie eh yenyewe prezo. Mimi tuna ku respect lakini hiyo na yetu hizi duni. Eh hiyo ni against our faith. Ni against what God anataka tufanye. Ni against what what your God inasema. Si right, ni against what the law ina prescribe. Maze inataka unajua una submit to the authority but only to the extent that your authority I contradict God. That is why even wives who submit to the husbands. Guess what? How are going to submit as unto the Lord? Tumelewana? Number four, lesson. Buddha, I we must pray for those in authority. Maze, usipoombea wala tuwa in authority, whether una support or not. Wewe mwenye unajingiza kwa nore, kwa ngori. Nuchakwa ni unajingiza kwa ngori? Come to point number five. Authority affects your life. Authority in affect life yako, whether you vote or not. Whether you pick your own or not. Sai Sinania nenda kukuwa swan in Kesho Kutwa. Uh, His Excellency the President on Tuesday na kwa swan in. Eh? Aki kwa swan in. Aki shall assume office as the President. Ata affect life yako whether you will vote for him or not. Whether you will like or not. Whether you will believe in the electiva or not. Ata affect life yako. Lazima u pray for all those in authority. Niki kafunga. Tukiongeza kuhusu authority watu wangu tunaongea tu tukifikiria about governor president sijini. Hiyo ni poa. Lakini kuna spiritual offices fulani zenye zina authority over our lives. Pastor si mtu. Pastor ni ofisi. Apostle ni ofisi. Evangelist, teacher, prophet. Hizo ni spiritual offices. Na reality ni kuna watu wako in those offices sio Mungu alichagua. Hiyo ni fact. Kuna wale alijiita. Jamaa ameamka anajiita Apostle pa 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 pa. Anakuja mazeni kufieka tu kondoo. Oya, ukikuwa chini ya a spiritual authority mtu wangu wenye iko wrong, it affect your life mazeni. Watu wangapi tumesikia kwa under spiritual authority mnaambiwa hamwezi speak in tongues. He church imekata hakuna baptism of the Holy Spirit. Watu wangapi mnajua wako under spiritual authority yenye inasema ah ah 
Hapa hivi hakunaga story yote ya deliverance. Watu ngapi mnajua kwamba spiritual authority yenye inasema, "Eh hey, boss, hapa hivi mti yangu hakuna story yote ya baptism by immersion." Watu wananyunyizwa maji hivi mtu wangu unaambuka umeko baptism in fact kuna watu wangapi wako na spiritual authority yenye inasema hakuna any other salvation unahitaji you don't need to get saved Christ did it all where is she to utaenda binguni Was the wrong spiritual authority over your life itakuwa affect na zingine zinaweza fanya uhate binguni au sio barikiwa as you need to submit to the right authority over your life at Freddy Budabos <laughs> Baraka man Woo! Peace out.